Some extreme hungers can be truly horrific. The strange creatures inundating our world, twisting the emotions of women, distorting our men. Join the hunt for the hiding place of terror. Find the breeding place of these globs of destruction. It's an adventure that will burst your blood vessels with suspense. Horror movies have thrived on our nightmares about being eaten alive. But there's one animal that's never made it onto the big screen. Yet it lives in our beds and eats more of us than any other creature on Earth. Say hello to the dust mite. It's so small that you can't see it without a microscope. Lucky the mites are so tiny, since we spend a third of our lives in bed. That means we spend a third of our lives next to two million dust mites that can live in our mattresses. These eight-legged scavengers are number six in the countdown, because every night, they feast on our bodies. Dust mites eat our skin, and each day, we produce an incredible number of skin cells for them to eat. In the next five seconds, you will lose more than 4,000 skin cells. It's perfectly natural. It's part of your body's defense system for you to shed more than a million dead skin cells every hour. But it means that in just one day, the amount of skin shed by the world's human population would fill a four-story house. 80% of the dust you see floating in a sunbeam is actually flakes of dead skin. And this is food for the dust mites that live in your bed. Just like any animal, what goes in must come out. And what comes out of a dust mite is a pellet of digested skin. Each day, about 20 of these tiny pellets join the piles of dust mite carcasses and cast off skins that accumulate in your bed. So tonight, when you go to bed, take another look at your pillow. If it's more than a couple of years old, about 10% of its weight will be from dust mites and their droppings. So let's give thanks to the dust mite, for without this extreme eater removing all those dead skin cells, just imagine how many little bits of your nearest and dearest you'd be inhaling each day. The dust mite may have a flaky sense of taste, but it's still only number six in the countdown. Because still to come is a little fish that just loves eating big fish. And 